Welcome back this morning. Okay, here's a question for you. What does the invention of modern-day bungee jumping have to do with eradicating blindness in developing countries? The answer is a Salt Lake City eye doctor with a sense of adventure. Peter Rosen has this fresh look on life. So this is a one-year checkup. Getting to where he is today, ophthalmologist Dr. Jeff Tabin has had quite an adventure. It began when instead of studying for college exams, Tabin and I started reading procrastinated the mountaineering books and I just got absolutely addicted. Tabin became an avid climber and mountaineer, the fourth to summit the highest peaks in all seven continents. To do it, he dropped out of medical school. Going to the last unclimbed face on Mount Everest. By postcard. I will call when I get back, love Jeff. And quit a medical residency to attempt Everest again. Really kind of in a meditative discipline. It's kind of, you know, vertical gymnastics with an element of chest thrown in. cabin has been a mountain guide, an adventure columnist for Penthouse Magazine, and author has appeared on TV with David Letterman. A career path, he says. Sort of like climbing a big mountain, you're following a crack system. Not unlike a meandering climbing route. Opportunities that came my way. One of those opportunities came during a trip to Nepal when he saw doctors perform cataract surgery and restore sight to a woman who'd been blind for three years. It was the most incredible, dramatic thing I've ever experienced. So we have how many cataracts registered so far? Cabin eventually teamed up with Nepalese surgeon Sandik Ruit and founded the Himalayan Cataract Project. Namaste. To organize eye camps, mobile hospitals and remote villages and give sight to thousands of people she has absolute cataracts in both eyes who just accepted blindness as a fact of life at high elevation. Last year I did nearly about 17,000 eye surgeries. 17,000. This eye camp, Dr. Tabin says, is the fastest cataract surgeon. Yeah, the maximum number I did in one day is 220 cataracts. In a short time you can do many operations and the results are very good. You gave sight to 17,000 or so people. Yes, I think it's a great help to the poor blind people. Through the Moran Eye Center, the work is expanding to other developing countries like Africa. Okay. But Tabin has had one other notable adventure. <laughs> Joining a group called the Oxford Dangerous Sports Club, he became the first American to bungee jump. That's him in a white tux jumping off of Colorado's Royal Gorge Bridge. What have you contributed to humanity? Seems that, that bungee jumping is high on the list. Well, it looks as perfect as perfect. Can be. Jeff Tabin has had some thrills, but no doubt none bigger. <laughs> than this. I'm Peter Rosen with a fresh look on life. Helping thousands of people That's see. Cool. Wow. Isn't that great? Well, for more information about the Himalayan Cataract Project and how it started, you can go to Peter's blog. It's on our website, KUTV.com.